when uh, they suggest uh, this to me, uh, my first reaction was, my God, they are going to celebrate me if, uh, as if I were dead. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm not dead. <laughs> and uh, I'm very curious. I, mean, I must say that I have the same type of, uh, type of expectation maybe you have in relation to yeah. this, because to, to uh, listen in a f in very few days, in just more or less uh, 20 days, uh, practically half of what I've been writing during the last uh, 25 years yeah. uh, will, uh, will make me think. Maybe it will make me think about poetics, <laughs> which I never think before. I never thought before in relation to myself, uh, in relation to others, yes, yeah. but not in relation to myself. And so uh, I'm, uh, I'm curious myself. But uh, what what made you then accept uh, the proposal of the Holland Festival to uh, to do it? Uh, I suppose. Be, uh, is this the next question? <laughs> uh, first of no, all, I'm not talking about <laughs> money. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> first of all, because I think that uh, sincerely, the Holland Festival is uh, one of the most uh, mm, intelligent, uh, complex, open places, festival that I know. I've been there a few times as a listener, as also as a performer, and every time I, I, I was uh, able to see that uh, the, idea, the idea of that festival is not only um, a place, a, a, a musical market, you know, uh, you know what festival means, uh, meant at least for the last uh, 30, 40 years. Uh, let's sort of say. disease. <laughs> Well, it's a very important disease. I mean, the, f uh, festi the festivals in general, starting from uh, the famous Baden-Baden, the Neuschingen festival. Modern music festivals, you mean? Modern, yes, yeah. modern music festivals. Always, always had this uh, uh, function to present ideas, musical ideas, that otherwise could not find place in, in uh, uh, official uh, institutions. Mm -hmm. Orland Festival, uh, uh, fulfills this uh, uh, scope, of course, but also on a, such a large scale, on such a complex uh, scale, and with such a respect also for a new idea in music, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, is more interesting, in, in a way, uh, considering the complexity of the Orland Festival, uh, the amount of things they do is closer to the real life of music, in, a, in mm. normal life. During the, during the uh, year. When I, I conduct the first performance of, uh, of Sinfonia with New York Philharmonic in New York, it was, uh, if I remember well, in October 68, I, were, I had already planned to, 
to add one fifth part, but simply was not finished. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was finished only uh, two months after that. Someday you said that the third movement of the Sinfonia, that collage piece of, of uh, well, the whole musical mm -hmm. histor history, uh, you said that's my most experimental piece of music I ever wrote. Yeah, in a way it is, in the sense that uh, uh, being concerned also with, uh, in trying to find a relation between different, let's say, almost heterogeneous things coming from different uh, sources. There I use uh, uh, objet trouvé. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing is to, is to invent uh, your own uh, different uh, element, materials, one thing to to take them from uh, from history. Mm. Since I have a great respect for history, a certain type of history at least, <coughs> uh, and I never did anything like that before. And uh, so I, I felt I was walking on a kind of a new land. I, I must say that it's not a collage, first of all. It's uh, exactly an attempt to unify <coughs> to find unity among very different things. They go from, uh, from Bach to Stravinsky and, uh, and so on. You stupid kite, come down out of that tree! Chomp, chomp, crunch, slurp, drag, drag, freckle, gulp, gosh. I'm Frida, and I've got naturally curly hair. Do you like girls with naturally curly hair? Good grief! The voice and voices in general have always been an important part in your voice. Yeah, uh, for many reasons. First of all, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily because of my Maybe in Italian. <laughs> what people always say. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously cliche. Yeah. But uh, uh, because uh, I don't know exactly why, but I've always been interested in language. I've been uh, interested in phonetics and, and so on. Then I, I think uh, that uh, language is a kind of, a, as a philosopher would say, the house of being. And uh, um, Language is the mother of everything we are, we do, and we know. And uh, voice is an expression of language. And I think that uh, there are many things to discover, not only musically, through uh, studying certain aspects of mm. that. And the relation language and music is one of the most, uh, again, if you want, experimental. <laughs> It's a bird. No. It's a plane. No. It's Superman. But certainly, uh, to work with Katy Perry has been uh, very important for her, for me. Bang!